We are world equipped to fight wars, not pandemics. Can we accept that? No, and this council should not either. Women peace activists are organizing and advocating for alternatives. We need a feminist and green recovery to this pandemic. For too long, states have neglected and underfunded critical infrastructure and public services, which would have helped respond to the pandemic. As Philip Alston has reminded you, endless pressures to promote fiscal consolidation, especially over the last decade, have pushed social protection systems closer towards 19th century models rather than late 20th century aspirations. It is high time we redress that and for this council to play its part. All states must live up to their obligations to protect human rights, including the right to water, sanitation, food, housing, and health. This is not only a matter of social justice, but also a matter of conflict prevention. COVID-19 lays bare systemic inequalities in our societies, even more so in communities affected by conflict and displacement. Ever increasing public spending and militarization, including the police and border patrol, has diverted much needed resources away from public services. My own country, the United States, is a glaring example. Collectively, governments around the world are investing nearly $2 trillion a year in militarism at the expense of public health and every other aspect of social well-being. In 2019, nine states spent nearly $73 billion on nuclear weapon systems. Wolf supports calls for a global ceasefire, and we urge all states to divest from weapons, to disarm and demilitarize, and to invest instead in human security based on human rights for all. Madam President, this panel is examining the gendered and intersectional consequences of the pandemic. This is important, but it is not enough. We must go beyond looking at consequences. Critically unveiling the structural causes of inequalities and redressing them should be a priority if there is to be genuine and lasting change.